Welcome to another video. We have another limit problem involving absolute values. And in this case, we have two absolute values in the numerator. But this problem is a lot easier than the one I did yesterday because the point at which we are looking for the limit, which is at zero, is not at the transition points of the function. Now, this is what I mean. You see, the point you should be worried about is when x is equal to 3, because that's where this is likely to be 0 when you talk about whether it's positive or negative. The same thing here, we'll be talking about 3 halves here. But you see, the limit point we're referring to, or the point where we're taking the limit from, has nothing to do with those two numbers, so our life is a lot easier. And that's how you uh, gauge the level of difficulty of any limit problem involving absolute value functions. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I would recommend is to find the transition points for every function that you're dealing with. So here you have two parts. Oh, by the way, don't be tempted to split this into two. When it comes to limits for rational functions, you, you would rather be happier if you put the two together than separate them. Okay, so um, don't separate them, don't split it, just try to simplify. So let's find the transition point for each of the absolute value expressions that we have. So um, note that the absolute value of 2x minus 3 will be equal to one of these two. So it's either 2x minus 3 when 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0, which implies that x will be greater than or equal to 3 halves when you solve this equal to zero. Or it would be the opposite of it, which will be the reverse, three minus two x for x less than three halves. So you see the transition point is three over two. Okay, now similarly, we know that the absolute value of x minus three is equal to x minus three when x is greater than or equal to three, or it is three minus x when x is less than 3. So, if you watch the previous video, you see the explanation. For all absolute value functions, you have to write them as piecewise functions. And these are the two functions that we have. Now, what do you need to do? Well, you will have to rewrite this limit, but you carefully choose what you need. Remember, we're talking about as x approaches 0. So let's go to the first part. As x approaches 0, are we dealing with this guy or this guy? Well, look at this point. This equation is relevant when x is greater than 1.5. And this equation is relevant when x is less than 1.5. We're talking about 0. So which of these equations is relevant to 0? It is the lower one. So we're taking this guy. Now let's go here. The top part is relevant when x is greater than 3. But now we're referring to 0. So 0 is relevant to this one when x is less than 3. That's the only time we can get 0. So if we rewrite this limit, so if we rewrite the limit, we get, this is what we're going to get. We're going to get the limit as x goes to 0 of, now this part will be replaced now with this. We're going to get 3 minus 2x minus, you see that? Just put it in, we now use parentheses because the absolute value bars are gone. Minus, we go to this part, we're going to be using the lower one because that's what's relevant. We got 3 minus x, 3 minus x. And everything is divided by x. Okay. 
Now, why didn't we just plug in? Never plug in when you're dealing with absolute value. Don't plug in. Once you see absolute value signs, don't even try plugging in because you might get yourself in trouble. Okay, so here we go. Now, what's this limit? This is the same thing as the limit as x approaches zero. The top part will be three minus two x minus three plus x all over x. And this is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of three minus three is zero and minus two x plus x is gonna be minus x over x. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of minus one. The limit of a constant is constant. This one was short. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section. Um, if I have not answered your questions from the emails, I got a ton of them recently. I will pick them one after the other. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.